Priya here and welcome back to my channel Beauty Under Coat. So today's video is going to be about DIY for nail strengthening. Uh, now I'll first, uh, before I begin with the DIY, I first would like to tell you guys the problem areas with my nails. So my nails had started peeling off, uh, maybe due to dryness or due to using acetone products. I'm still not sure but the damage was done and uh, my nails had started peeling off in layers like literally how skin peels off my nails were peeling off like that exposing the underlying skin and everything had become very soft and they were bending like literally bending nails are supposed to be hard uh, but mine were not they had become very soft and yellowish as well uh, so i thought that before i get myself checked up with calcium vitamin d etc etc uh, let me try out a diy for a month and if things don't improve then definitely I'm going to go and get myself checked up if I'm having some health issues uh, so the first thing that I did was stop using all acetone based products I completely wanted to give my nails a break uh, from acetone and I stopped buying and I stopped using acetone based nail bed removers and I completely switched to uh, acetone free products uh, so that was the one thing that I did second I also started off with calcium supplements and I think that just helped uh, you know uh, improving my nail condition uh, now let me tell you guys that this DIY may work for you or may not work for you it just depends on your nail condition uh, but it's a very healthy uh, and herbal and organic DIY to try uh, so there's no harm in trying if you're facing similar issues uh, and I'll uh, definitely show you the end result by the end of this video so you can see uh, if this DIY worked or not and I have used uh, this nail strengthener for one month flat and I have seen decent results uh, there are some there are still some areas that I need to improve on uh, but that will come eventually uh, so I hope that this DIY is helpful for you guys and if it was then please let me know in the comment section below also if you're new here make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell notification right next to it so that you're notified of all my future uploads having said that let's get started with today's video the things that you need the first thing that you need is two cloves of garlic which will be like an antiseptic to fight all the infections second thing is a castor oil which will help uh, in nail growth the third thing that you need is glycerin which acts like a preservative fourth thing you need vitamin e oil which is uh, rich in antioxidants and it also acts as a moisturizer then you need tea tree oil to fight all the fungal and bacterial infections and you need a small container to uh, keep all the ingredients after mixing them uh, a, a glittery tape uh, probably to decorate the container this is optional so i just cut them short uh, so that i could uh, use this oil for one month and then show you guys the result so the first step is grating uh, the garlic into a glass bowl uh, now I'll be grating both the cloves of garlic in here. So like I mentioned earlier, garlic is a strong antiseptic. It will take care of any fungus or residual bacteria. Garlic also contains selenium which is one of the most crucial building blocks of longer and stronger nails. And finally garlic is also an antioxidant which helps keep the nail bed healthy. So the healthier the nail bed is, the healthier your nail will be. So after grating, it should look something like this. Next, take two spoons of castor oil. Now castor oil is basically responsible for nail growth. Uh, it helps in growing the nails faster in a natural way. Next ingredient is very crucial for this DIY and it is glycerin. So I'll use like one to two spoons spoons of glycerin and glycerin is used to increase the water content in the nail so basically it acts like a moisturizer and it also acts like a preservative like your so the next ingredient is vitamin e oil which is a great moisturizer and it is highly rich in antioxidants and there is also an added benefit that it has a very light scent to it and is tea tree oil i'm adding around five to six drops of tea tree oil it helps intensely to cure fungal infections on the nails and now it's time to mix all the ingredients together and after mixing this is how the mixture should look like 
Now pour all the contents in a jar. Remember to use either a plastic jar or a glass jar for storing this because uh, the uh, garlic keeps on fermenting uh, over a period of time so you do not want to keep it in any metallic jar. Now secure the lid of the container very tight as we want to keep this oil outside in the sun for 12 hours. So keeping this aside in sunlight is a very important step because that way it helps in naturally heating all the oils and it also helps in garlic to generate oil and get mixed with all the other ingredients and after the garlic is properly fermented then only this oil is ready to be used. Now this is an optional step since the garlic and all the ingredients smell so bad together you need a motivation to use this right. So I'm going to decorate this container with a simple tape I'm using a glitter tape and just put it across so that it looks a little more cutier and attractive. So once the oil has been kept for around 12 hours now it's ready to be used and I simply use a, a q-tip to dip into the oil and then uh, put it on each of my nails. I'm going to focus on the nail and the cuticles and after I apply uh, you have to massage it and push the oil into the cuticles and also massage it very nicely onto the, each of the nails. Now this is certainly a slow treatment and it takes some time to show results. I have used it for a flat one month without fail and now it's time to show you the end result. So finally this is how my nails look like. They have grown better and they have grown in length and also they feel a little hard and stronger. Of course there is still some peeling involved but that can be worked with. Uh, but overall I'm really happy with the way this nail strengthener has worked for me. So if this video was helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Also follow me on all my social medias, links to which I'll be leaving in the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.